Greetings from Hoplong Hollow. It's a beautiful March morning, one of our warmest mornings we had recently. But everything is looking pretty good and we've got so much growth here in the Potager. Just looking great. The roses are climbing. The blossoms on the peach tree, the plum tree, have come and gone. We're getting tulips, daffodils, alliums, all the things that we put in the containers and the pots and the mounds. And I'm just really pleased. I think they're coming up a little bit earlier than I'd like, but nevertheless, they're beautiful. Every time I see the greenhouse, I still can't believe it for so long. I never had one and then all of a sudden I decided to build one and a couple weeks later there it was. I don't even remember what it looked like before in that spot. Tulips are already coming up and I'm, I think it's just a little bit too early for them. I really had wanted them to come up in mid-spring. In fact, I bought mid-spring tulips. So this is infidel coming up in the trough is just way ahead of schedule. And also, I'm, I'm not real pleased with the size of these tulips. They're just very, very small. And it could have something to do with the fact that I did plant them in January instead of in the fall. However, they had a long chilling period before I even put them in this trough. So I don't know what the deal is here. Now, I also put some sweet pea seeds back here to grow along this rusty old bedstead. But out of about 25 little pea seeds, I am only seeing maybe five peas coming up. So it's a good thing I planted some in soil blocks because I'll transfer those into this bed. Other than that, it's kind of pretty. Color combinations here with the tiny purple tulips starting to come through. Hope they get taller than that. And the blue muscari. What a lovely combination. The only sad part about this planter is that the fritillaria, or fritillia, whatever you the pronunciation you use, none of them, not a single one of them has appeared. And I've planted over 200 of them throughout the gardens and I haven't seen any. There's the Easter joy coming up a little bit early. The rose behind it is glorious, glorious. Down here we have lots of beautiful little muscaris. I just love muscaris. They're so trustworthy and they spread like weeds. They're not weeds. For bluebells, this is absolutely my favorite because the little bells go from lavender, blue, pink, purple into a pale, pale sky blue. Starting out with it beautiful little purple buds. They are so, and the leaves, the leaves are just luminescent green. I love this plant. I've often commented at uh, bulb planting time that I don't like to plant a lot of tulips anymore because they don't return, but that just isn't true. This little stand of tulips and many others throughout the yard have been coming back for over five years. In fact, I've got a stand in another corner that has been coming back for nearly 10 years, and I just wonder why. And then I think I finally figured it out. When I planted these, I planted these really deep. I think 12 or more inches deep. And when you plant them that deep, and then you add compost again every year, year after year after year, those bulbs are going deeper and deeper into the ground. What happens is as the bulbs are under the ground and they break up into little bulblets, they move upwards through the earth and the little bulblets break off. Bublets, that's hard to say, bulblets break off, creating once again that big bulb that you need to create a beautiful flower. Instead of getting several tiny little tulips, you end up with normal size tall tulips because the bulblets broke off and you were once again 
ended up with one bulb creating one flower instead of all that energy being spread apart into separate little family members. So look at those, they're nice and tall and stately. They really are quite beautiful. The size of those tulips is really big. That's the only explanation I can figure. So if you want your tulips to be more perennial, plant them really, really deep. And right here, I think what I'm going to do is when the leaves turn yellow on the tulips, and it would be about the time when they would have been dug up, I will dig them up and I'm gonna plant them even deeper into this trough, maybe all the way to the bottom. That would be at least 16 inches. And we'll see if they come back. This is Godfrey's little brother that we brought home for him because Godfrey is now four months old and Gabriel is nine weeks old. And they're the perfect playmates. This is, he is half Great Pyrenees and half Anatolian Shepherd. So he's called an Anatolian Pyrenees and uh, Anatolian Shepherd is actually a, also a guard, guardian dog. These should be quite big. <laughs> While working on the slope, I've had to carry up and down the slope all sorts of materials. And I used the garden cart pulled by the lawnmower most of the time to get heavy rock or to get the cedar logs and the timbers. But for small things like pulling, taking bits and uh, pieces of sod back down the hill or my compost up the hill, I need something smaller. And so this little garden cart is something I've used for over 20 years, but you can see by the look of it that it has seen better days. So when I had the opportunity from a company called Vivor to try out a new cart, I absolutely jumped at the chance. At least two or three times a week, I'll get an email from a company asking me to try out their product and pops possibly sponsor it on my YouTube channel, but I've never ever done it because I never get an offer for something I would actually want to use. That's been the problem. Now I do recommend a lot of products on this YouTube channel, but those are just things that I use anyway and I have never been paid for any kind of sponsorship. Now this on the other hand was something that came my way that I actually am going to use. So this company gave me the opportunity to check out one of their products. I chose this garden cart right here. I'm going to have to put it together. I'm going to go out and use it and I'm going to give you an honest review of this. Now this company makes all kinds of garden tools, kitchen tools, tool tools, power tools, you name it, they've got it. It is an amazing website. So when I saw this particular piece here, I'm going to find out if I can get it put together today and we'll give it a try out in the yard. Here we have the directions, pretty straightforward. We have minimal parts. We'll see how long it takes for me to put this together. This is incredibly easy to put together. I have to tell you, it really is. I did it in about 
took me about 15 minutes to put this together. So the sides are pretty convenient. They just drop down and lock back up again on the corners. So I think I'll go load this up with compost and see how much I can get on here. Got a nice rubber handle and it swivels pretty well. All in all, I'd say this is a pretty good little garden cart. It hauls a lot. It maneuvers really well. Um, when it's not full, it's pretty lightweight. Easy to move it around and store it. And uh, the cost on this, as I said, this was given to me for a review. So I didn't pay anything for it, just so you know. But if you were to buy this online, it would be about $110 to $129. There are other sizes other than this. Some are less expensive and some are a little more coin but I do recommend this one. I like it. I hope it lasts as long as my other little garden cart did, which was 20 years. I put a link um, to their website if you want to purchase one of these carts. This one I think was around $110 to $129, but they had larger sizes and smaller sizes as well. So this is a good size for me, and the company is Vivor, and actually, I really like it. So use that link if you want to purchase this cart. Now, back to work. Planted this pussy willow tree from a mere stick about five years ago, and look at it now. It is so beautiful. Look how the little pussy willow fuzzies just glisten in the sun. So lovely. I wasn't able to accomplish a lot over the last two weeks because we've just had one rainstorm after another. One thing I did manage to do is get the bottoms filled in to these raised beds full of dried leaves, which I found at the, the, uh, on the dried out pond. The pond gets filled and then it just dries out and then it fills again. And I'm left with all kinds of wonderful leaves and great leaf mold underneath this. A lot of great soil actually. But getting all that rain probably did me a favor. I would have rushed going into these beds and putting all the compost in before everything was really soaked and doing well. So I said I was moving my blueberry bushes into these big pots and that's because they've done terribly in our, our clay soil and I really didn't amend it properly. I know they were in poor soil. So this mixture of soil is what's going to go into the pots and i got this off a youtube channel and see he said he got it off of a berry company that actually sells the plants so i think it's probably pretty good and what it is is half peat and half pine bark mini nuggets then i'm going to get this nice and wet put it in the pots and feed my berries the blueberries are starting to sprout leaves. They're very, very young, small plants. So up the hill, got my steps, filled this bed with um, leaf mold and leaves, and I still have to go quite a way up with my compost. Two more raised beds here at the top. Still need to gravel this. And then here we are up at the top with a little pump house. We're doing a lot of repair work right here in the re at the pump house. And I think this would be a great spot. It's generally eight hours of sun right now. It's pretty late in the afternoon at the time right now. But a nice little grape arbor here. And then, ha, ah, hopefully I'll get this done in the next two weeks. So here I am at the top looking down. I have a, so many raised beds here, as you can see. I have a lot of space to cover. Still a lot of work to do, but it'll be ready in time to put all the plants in when it is time. So in the meantime, we have to go over and repair a farm fence over there because the boys figured out a way to get out.
and that is not a good thing. 